finally welcome back um, to the channel, of course. It's been a little over three months since I've made a video, and we have had some unforeseen medical things that's come up, and some days I didn't have time. Sometimes I didn't have the heart, even when I did have the time. Uh, things are looking up. We give God all the glory for what he has brought us from, what he's bringing us through, and where he's taking us to. I wanted to make a video today about my eight-month-old fresh tomatoes. Um, so without further ado, I'll get you inside. I've got them on the freezer top, and I'm about ready to bite into one, let you know what I think, and uh, we'll see what happens. So we have one already out of the jar, and I've stirred them up a little bit. You can see it does have a little bit of cloudiness, but that's because I did stir them up. Uh, when you first start to ferment these tomatoes, uh, they will get cloudy, then it'll clear up. And actually this was nearly the same clearness that I had when I first started, nearly. One thing that you'll notice, the skins will slip um, as if they were uh, what do you call it when you put them in hot water you can leave me a comment it's not poached oh good grief blanched aha i still like for you to leave me a comment so you can do red ripe tomatoes as i have done if you want something to hold up a little bit better as far as the texture then use green tomatoes that aren't ripe at all. So that's got a lot of juice. Another thing that I failed to mention in showing what I did here, and I'll try to leave a card if I can think to do that, is I forgot to mention that this really these tomatoes needed to have uh, some holes poked in them, two or three holes, maybe with a skewer, uh, a single puncture with a fork and that's only to allow the brine to get in much quicker as I said these have been sitting for about eight months uh, so um, here we go let me try one mmm tangy salty a little bit of sour but it still has that fresh tomato taste. I like it. Now the next thing I think I'm going to do is I'm going to put some jalapeno peppers, maybe some wild garlic mustard or just some wild onions in it. But that is really good. So if you have a, a bumper crop, remember a minimum of one teaspoon of salt per cup of water. You can increase but never decrease from one teaspoon per cup of water to get your brine consist consistency Sorry, correct. It's been a long time since I've been here and uh, so I'm just getting back into the hang of things. I'm going to have to refigure out the editing process and everything but I'm so glad and you have blessed me by causing the channel to increase and numbers and leaving me comments and questions and even the little willy-nillies that are not so nice I try to answer them nicely back showing the love of Christ right that's what we need to do the world does not need any more uh, pessimistic mean people we have a reason to believe uh, we have a reason to be cheerful and to share that gift with others with that being said I'll see you on the next one, hopefully really soon, much sooner than three months. Bye.